The Department of Defense SkillBridge program helps veterans leaving their service re-enter the working world through paid internships. And during those internships, military members work and learn alongside civilian industry partners like John Deere. Take a look. Uh, I'm a hull maintenance technician, uh, so I'm a welder by trade. Uh, I went to boot camp in 2004, had an opportunity to go to the Navy's Advanced Weld School, got certified as a shipboard non-nuclear welder, and did that for a long time until I moved into more of the maintenance and material management realm. Um, and for the last couple of years, I've been up at Navy Boot Camp in Great Lakes, Illinois as an instructor. Over 200,000 service members exit the military every single year. So that is a large pool of very skilled and dedicated uh, workers. For me, there was a lot of uh, nervousness about the unknown. You know, being in the Navy for 20 years, how do you go from one to the other. So the DOD Skill Bridge program is a program that the Department of Defense created about 13 years ago to ease the transition of our military service members. Skill Bridge program helps connect uh, veterans and those finishing their service time in the military with local employers like John Deere uh, in an internship uh, with, within the factory uh, to help connect their skills with potential opportunities as they begin their transition. Uh, so it's a really great way to get into the fields you want to be in when you're out, get into the area where you're going to be living, and kind of get a jump start on that separation transition when it does come. And when I learned that Deer was a partner, that's when I kind of started making the plans of, hey, this is probably what I want to do, go back to the Quad Cities, be close to home, um, and have an opportunity to be with someone like John Deere. It really helps our service members to um, transition seamlessly from the military to the civilian sector. So while they're in the military, they may be working in HVAC or in military personnel, which is what I did, which is equivalent to HR. However, um, they do not always transfer. The skills do not always transfer. So having the skill bridge in the internship really kind of helps to expose that service member to the civilian sector and what it's like to work in that civilian company. We've had skill bridge interns in supply management. We've had interns in maintenance, uh, and we've had a number Number of them in operations helping to support uh, the daily factory production here at Seating. They, they helped me be able to translate what I learned in the service as far as leadership and, and work ethic and all that kind of stuff into, um, into the civilian sector. Um, because I, I've been doing things a certain way, not necessarily the same way that they do them here and it was, hey, you've learned all these things, this is how we're gonna apply them to your job here, and this is how we're gonna make you successful. All of our interns have a manager uh, and a network that they connect with here within the factory to help support them uh, during their internship. And so all of our interns have regular one-on-ones and, and, and regular uh, cadence of kind of meetings with uh, members of the factory to kind of help establish and build those relationships uh, to ensure kind of success uh, in their role. Yeah, it, it's a, it was a daily thing, um, you know, asking, how I'm doing, not just with the work here that I was doing for Deer, but also some of the other veterans would ask how I was doing with my transition, um, how the VA appointments were going, um, how a lot of those th a lot of those boxes that have to get checked when you're transitioning, you know, making sure that I was taking care of that side of things too, and that I had time to do it. So um, it was a daily thing where people were talking and asking if I was making sure I was getting taken care of. Uh, internal to John Deere, we have a very vibrant community of veterans, and I, I view this program as another way to extend our outreach uh, beyond the walls of John Deere to help connect and really support the transition of, of veterans and military servicemen and women uh, as they progress beyond uh, their time in service. John Deere's been a tremendous support to the Iowa workforce development with SkillBridge. They've been doing it for a number of years and have been very successful in bringing in service members under the SkillBridge program and then offering them employment. 
They assisted us through IWD in the process so we could become a third party approver as well. Um, so we 100% support this and think it's a great program because we are taking care of our service members and ensuring that they're going to find gainful employment after their service time. I'm very proudly a second generation John Deere employee. Uh, I was born and raised here in the Quad Cities. My dad retired with 35 years uh, from John Deere. So this is my home. Uh, it's the place where my family, my wife and I and our four kids have established roots. Uh, and it's just an exciting place to connect, uh, have that kind of small Midwest uh, vibe, but at the same time, a very growing uh, community as well. Uh, getting the opportunity to connect with people from varieties of background, different ways of life, uh, is really what brings me uh, a lot of happiness in, in my role. And thinking very specifically to the, the impact of this program, right, here's just another lane, uh, another pipeline of talent that John Deere can connect with to really help make sure that we've got the best talent uh, to help build the greatest products for our customers. You know, being from Moline, I've been wearing John Deere sweatshirts and, and ball caps everywhere I've been that, that the Navy's taken me. So, and I always talk about, well, you know, Moline, Illinois, that's where John Deere's from. And, you know, I'd brag about it a lot when I was out doing whatever I was doing. So being able to come back here and, and be a part of this was, was, a, was a goal and I'm glad I had the opportunity.